Here's a good place to start if you've never played before. The tutorial will teach you some of the basics of the game. You'll get your sea legs soon, Captain. Welcome to Alaska, the last frontier. Prepare to be tested against the harshest conditions known to man. Can you survive the worst Mother Nature has to offer and bring home the ultimate prize? As captain of a crab boat, you must lead your elite group of adventurers to riches. Your actions and decisions will make the difference between success and failure. We'll set you free soon enough, but first, let's go through some of the basics. You can exit this tutorial by selecting Cabin and then Quit. As you can see, your boat is at sea right now, the Bering Canyon to be exact. In the upper right part of your screen, information about this location is shown. The bar under Crab Estimated is almost full, so this should be a good place to find crab. You can also see that your location has not been fished. Until you pull up Crab, the bar you see here is only a guess. Finally, you can see that you have no pots set here. Conditions are good, and you haven't set any pots here, so it's a good time to do that. After you make a couple of decisions, you're going to take control of the boat, so get ready. You can set up to 50 pots at any location. Let's set 20 here. Select Set Pots, and then adjust the value to 20. Now to decide who should man the rail of your boat to set. Each deckhand has a skill rating from 1 to 5 in set. Keep an eye out for tired deckhands. As they tire, their skill bars will go red. Right now, let's choose Matthew, since his setting skill is the highest. A higher skill rating can help you complete your task faster and earn you more bonus time and money. It's time to set your pots. You'll be controlling the steering and throttle of your boat, trying to drop your pots within the target circles. Remember, your big boat will take its time turning, speeding up, and slowing down. After you give the command to drop a pot, it will take a couple of seconds before the pot is in the water, so be prepared for this delay. Experienced captains will consider timing and the value of their targets while plotting their course. Don't be discouraged if it takes you a little time to learn how to control your boat. These are the results. As you can see, your performance is tracked and you receive a grade. The faster and more accurately you set your pots, the higher grade you get. Streaks are important because they not only help your grade, but they also give you valuable time and money bonuses. Don't be discouraged if you don't get a great grade on this first attempt. Practice and highly skilled deckhands will help you out. Good grades give more experience to your deckhands. Deckhands can increase in skill over time, especially if you get good grades. Congratulations, you're all done setting your pots. Meanwhile, you've got a string soaking over at the Uniac Trench, and it's time to head over there to pick it up. I'll show you how. First, you need to select the map. 
The map is very important. From here, you can view fishing conditions all over the Bering Sea and plot your fishing strategy. Right now, though, we're just going to use the map to travel. Move the arrow until you find the Uniac Trench. Once you've found it, select Travel to go there. Here you are at the Uniac Trench. If you look, you can see that you have 20 pots here. Select Retrieve Pots to get started. Once again, you'll need to choose a deckhand for the task. Find the one with the highest skill in Retrieve and pick them. Step up to the rail and get ready to throw your hook. You're about to retrieve your pots. As you stand at the rail, you'll see pairs of buoys pass you by from left to right. To hook a pair, you'll first need to start the throw target. The throw target will move swiftly away from the boat. When the throw target is in front of a pair of buoys, throw your hook. Try to land the hook in the middle of a pair of buoys. It takes time to make the throw, so you need to lead the buoys. Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it with practice. Not all buoys are created equal. Some are worth more pots than others. You only want buoys with numbers on them. The blank ones belong to another boat. Keep an eye on your pots remaining to know how many pots you need to finish. Once you get confident with your throwing skills, you can use the throttle to control your boat's speed. Going faster will help you get more streaks and finish more quickly, but it can make landing your hook more difficult.